organizers hope to convey today and really every day that these people who were homeless, who were struggling, were people with loved ones and with stories. And tonight it was about honor, but also hope. For people living outside, the longest night of the year takes on a different meaning. You better be ready, you know, or else it might be difficult to survive. Daniel Kohler stays in a shelter and has for the last 13 months. I at least have the eight hours of rest indoors. But he says he knows all too well the struggles of life on the streets. I lived outside for over a year um, without going in and it was it was rough. You know, you really can't slip. You have to take care of yourself. Um, you have to stay warm, you have to eat healthy uh, if you want to live. Heartbreaking honor to be here. In Portland's Old Town, both sheltered and unsheltered people came together to remember those who died this year. Each name read aloud. Donna Taylor, Paris Brewer, Victor Tyrell, and Jimmy Brown. This year is extremely tender for all of us. This memorial only a day after Multnomah County reported more than 300 homeless people had died in 2022, a record high. Crystal Delahanty of PDX Saints Love says the community is hurting. Nobody out here is just giving up. And, you know, I can say that from my own story. I'm uh, 11 years uh, clean and sober. But when I was living out here, I just was screaming on the inside for somebody to please see me and hear me and value me and to remember that I'm still inside here. And I want them to remember the same for the people that we're honoring tonight. In Oregon City, a similar scene. The majority of these names on this list are friends of ours. They've been participants in our program. Um, we knew them very, very intimately and as um, our friends. So we have the privilege of being out here in warm clothing for an hour where our folks are out overnight without a lot of the supplies or a place to go to get out of the cold weather. So the line started back, yeah. back in Old Town, all of these efforts and the very act of remembering, making the longest night also a night of hope. Being able to lean on one another and collaborate and um, pull all of our community-based organizations together to use this night to heal and mend together, it was pretty important. Alma McCarty, KGW News.